What is the most underdiagnosed problem that I see in my practice? Hands down, without a doubt, it is osteoporosis. And today, October 20th, is World Osteoporosis Day. Does mean that we don't diagnose osteoporosis? One in three women and one in five men over the age of 50 will suffer a fragility fracture in their life. Worldwide, an osteoporotic fracture happens every three seconds. During this video alone, 45 people have suffered a fragility fracture. That's crazy. I treat osteoporotic compression fractures almost every single week. Compression fractures lead to chronic back pain, deformity, and even height loss, as well as decreased pulmonary function. What's even more scary is that patients sustain fractures and then still aren't diagnosed and properly treated for their osteoporosis. Treating it is really important, but let's talk about prevention because preventative medicine is key. We have our peak bone mass between the ages of 25 to 30 and then we start losing bone. Lifestyle factors are tremendous to having good bone health. So what are they? I'm going to give you five tips to increase your bone health. Number one is weight bearing exercise. Lifting weights can help you build strong bones. Number two, a well-balanced diet with bone healthy foods. That's calcium, vitamin D, vitamin K, and protein. Three is getting enough vitamin D exposure, whether that be through supplements or from sun exposure. For me personally, I don't get out in the sun very much and I do use a lot of sunscreen, so I do supplement my diet with vitamin D. Number four is maintaining in a healthy, appropriate body weight. And for osteoporosis prevention, believe it or not, being underweight is not a good thing. Having a BMI of 19 or below puts you at risk for osteoporosis. Number five, you know I've gotta put it in here, is that smoking and alcohol use will increase your bone loss and put you at risk for osteoporosis. Most importantly, be aware that this is common. If you're over 50, make sure you talk to your doctor about getting screened for osteoporosis. Better bone health equals better back health.